In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean up some Excel data that looks like this. What you'll notice is there are merged cells everywhere, there are gaps, there are errors in the numbers. I'm going to show you how to get it ready for Tableau, and it's so easy, so quick. So let's go. <laughs> Here we are in Microsoft Excel. So let me just walk you through the data. If you do want to follow along, the link is in the description below as it always is. And what we're going to do first is we're just going to inspect this. First, you'll notice is that there are a lot of merged cells. And I mean, they're not always the same shape, right? And you'll probably think, well, how, how can this possibly happen? Like no database that you extract from ever looks like this. Yeah, most likely there aren't. Um, this usually comes from humans. It's usually when they start tracking things on spreadsheets and they start using merge cells. The problem with this is you cannot load this into Tableau. You can't load this into actually any program that I can think of that it will automatically fill it and do it properly. So we have to do some cleaning and there's obviously a number of ways. I'm going to show you how to do it in Excel. So firstly, what we're going to do is we're going to load this up as is into Tableau and just see what happens. So let me just get a fresh tableau here I'll get that loaded and let's close this close this and i'm going to get it and just drag and drop it into tableau let's see what happens so you can see here you have all these these nulls are okay they're supposed to be blank but you have all these nulls and and that's a problem because well that should be all of that i mean that should be all that right so we're going to fix this up let's get rid of tableau for a second Okay, and I'm going to duplicate this sheet. Now, there are a number of ways to do this, and I've been doing this a long time. And the other day, a data scientist that I've been working with showed me a new technique. So, you know, you're always learning in this business, which is really cool. Okay, so I'm going to do this very slowly so you can follow along. All right, what I do, okay, the way I do it is first I identify the columns which have the merge cell. So it's these three. Okay, then what I do is I highlight three of them, grabbing the top. Okay, so I'm hiding the top. I'm going to right click, copy, and I'm going to click on this D, right, on the next one. So basically, in between what I've selected and then the rest of the data, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go insert copied cells. Okay, so I've basically just duplicated it. Okay, once I've done that, I press delete. Okay, and I just clear it. Okay, and the reason I do that is sometimes it's more than three fields. Sometimes it's 10 fields or 20 fields. And by doing copy paste, I have basically, um, I basically made it so this has the same number of columns as this, no matter how many there are. There could be 30 columns that have merged, right? I've seen some really bad ones. So that when you create this space to do the following calculations, you know there's 30 and you don't miss any data. Because the worst thing is you start, you start cleaning it and you finish the clean, you put it into Tableau, you do your presentation, and someone goes, where's that field? And you've lost the data. Um, if it's come from a database, it's no issue. But if it's been humanly generated, humanly, human generated, it's hard to get that data back sometimes because you've got to clean it, you've got to do it again. So it kind of just saves that step. All right, so we delete that. What you'll notice, though, is there are still merged cells. So we're just going to unclick this merge. Okay, so now it's very, very clean and there's no issues in there. All right, the, first, uh, the next step is I'm going to go into this one, okay, into this one right here. And I'm going to go equals, and I'm just going to make it equal this one right here. So that just equals that. And I'm going to do the same thing for the next two. So I can go equals this equals this. Okay. So we have all three of those equally. Okay. Now the next part is we're going to get rid of these merged cells. The way we do it is we're just going to highlight the top like so. I'm going to untick this merge. Now we've created all these spaces. And the reason we do that is when we do the next formula, it needs to reference something. And whenever you're referencing a merge cell, it gets a bit funky. So we don't do that. So we're going to go into the next slot. And I'm going to do very slowly. We're going to do an if function. So equals if bracket. This one is equal to nothing. So double quotes or double two quotes, two double quotes. Then write whatever is above it. Okay, if this one is blank, write what's above it. Otherwise, write what's in here. Okay, and then we close the bracket. And basically what that's doing is, every time there's a space, it means we, sh we grab whatever values on top of it. If it's a new value, we grab that. So I'll go through it bit by bit. So we now have 
one thousand, what is it, a hundred thousand and ninety. Okay, and we're going to extend this across. So I'm going to grab this little fill handle right here. I'm going to extend this across. There we go. And you can see it matches this. You can see here, and you can go through the formulas. Okay, and then what we do is we grab these three. And again, uh, grabbing this fill handle, I'm just going to double click that fill handle so it extends all the way to the bottom. So double click, and there you have it. So it's filled it all the way down. Now we can test this. Let's look at this group of cells right here. So you can see this ends with 678. You can see 678 finishing all the way there. You got office supplies, there's a blank, and there is a office supply. So this has filled it all the way down. So you can see there are no more gaps. Now you may need to watch this video a number of times because I have taught this face to face with people and it still takes a little while. Um, it's just I've been doing it for a really long time. Now, and also, this is just one way to clean this kind of dye. There are so many ways, and I encourage you to always be looking for new ways to do the same thing because it just, you know, gives you more capability, lets you do more things. Anyways, so we've got these, and these are all formulas at the moment. We don't want them as formulas. Uh, we just want them as fixed values, right, or static values. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these three, copy. And then I'm going to go with this one, two, three, or you can, um, or you can go paste special values and what that does is it just gets rid of the formulas so we go okay and if you click on it there's no more you know there's no more um, formula okay we copy this over so we now have titles and we can get rid of this old one delete easy okay so that's the first part that fills in the gaps the second one is this having uh this error of it's not a number it's usually what uh what it is and basically and it's a number trying to be read as text. Most of the time, it's not an issue, but sometimes it is because sometimes you'll put it into Tableau and you start doing for, uh, formulas or you start doing visualizations and it just doesn't work for some reason. Sometimes there's like a letter in here or a word. So you can either filter through it, right? You can either filter through and look around for it or something like that. I already know for a fact that there's no numbers in here. Ah, uh, there's no letters in here. Okay, so I know they're all numbers. So one way to just get rid of this error is just go to this next one and go equals this times one. That's it. And that converts it to a number. And this is important because maybe you don't, you're not ready for Tableau yet. You still want to do some stuff in Excel. So you can do it. Uh, you can just clean it up using this. So I'm going to extend this across. So now this applies to every single one, as you can see. And I'm going to extend this all the way down, similar to the one before. Okay, and you can see now you have these errors, but it's basically identified which ones are zero for you because there's nothing in there. I'll show you how to clean that up as well, All right? But just from a visual inspection, it seems to be doing everything correctly. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this error. And the way you to get rid of it is use what's called the if error function. So I'm going to go into this first formula. I'm going to go if error bracket. And what this if error function does is if the result of what you're doing results in an, in an error, you can tell it to write something else instead. In this case, we're just going to say zero, right? So comma zero, All right? You can see here with the little hit, if error value and the value if it's an error. So in this case, zero, press enter. And then we're going to copy that formula everywhere. So I'm going to go fill handle this way and then double click. Okay, And that's filled it in with zeros now. Okay, this is also important because like sometimes if you're doing, if let's say you're going to bring this into a data science model or something like that, sometimes nulls are not good. Sometimes you want to fill it with zeros, but that's a whole nother topic. Okay, so now we have this, we're going to replace this old one. So I'm just going to right click, copy, go here to the first position, paste values. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, there are merged cells in here apparently. Hey, I did not know that. Here we go, merged cells. I did not know that. How's that for a surprise? Merge cells. Seems to be just one. Seems to be no big issue. Let's see. I think it's actually okay. I think it was just that one. It must have been a special case. That wasn't actually part of the lesson. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to get rid of that merge cell just clicking this. Right, and then we can do the same thing again. So I'm gonna just copy everything in here. Copy, paste values. 
Okay, so you can see you have it there. We'll just center justify it so it looks pretty and we can get rid of these columns. Okay, so now I'm going to save this. So just control S for me and let's bring this into a fresh Tableau set and let's see what it looks like now. All right, let's get rid of that. Let me bring in this file. Okay, and let's see. So now I've got two files here, uh, two sheets. So I've got to bring them in manually. Let's bring that in. Let's just fix this Tableau thing to fit in here properly. Okay, so now you can see it's actually filled it correctly. And if you look here in the data types, there are numbers. So it's reading it correctly. We know it's not doing any funny business. Sometimes you do want to rely on Tableau being able to convert things. But sometimes what I prefer is making sure that I understand what's actually going in in the first place so that there's no errors here or there's no funny business or nothing that I didn't see coming. Okay, so we got that. And now we can pretty much do all the visualizations you want to do. All right, and so on and so forth. But that is it. So that's a little a quick exercise on how to do some basic data cleansing. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.